Get it cracking. Ready for work? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. All right, one. He said he'd be a 16. Go ahead, do it. Society, company-wise, been active for a year, but um, before that, we were, you know, AJ and Nate. Nate is my partner. We've been throwing parties for about five years now. Look, I told him I'm gonna give him a 750 minimum and two Ciroc for 600 per second tip. I think we're more like customer friendly. A lot of our clientele we know personally. A lot of the tables that we book we know personally. It's not really like an email blast thing or like a, you know, a social media thing. Though we do use all those resources, but a lot of people that come to the day party that we can really touch that we actually know. So we're more of like a personal promoters to our people. The day party scene at that time in the city was just mellow. So it wasn't, nobody really wasn't partying real hard. It was more still kind of an untouched thing yet. You know what I mean? It was kind of, it was untapped territory. It was something that was missing from DC, but another reason we did it is because uh, around the city, you have a lot of promoters and everyone pretty much had their night already. So as far as us, uh, Unique Society, it was kind of hard for us to get a night party. So it made sense for us, the only, only thing we could do is really a day party. It gotta be bands because you're gonna overcrowd it. Once we started doing a day party, it kind of caught on, and it just became like a, a huge success. So we kind of really were forced to do a day party because we couldn't do a night party at the time on the weekends. Day parties, compared to any other nighttime event, are very rare in D.C. It's very big in Miami, Vegas, you know, even in L.A. It's something that you don't really see here. But one thing that we can do compared to other venues is, like you said, you can see this beautiful rooftop. We can really take advantage of doing a great day party. You're not going to go anywhere and get this type of experience on the actual, on a patio field, on an outside deck. The energy that this venue brings, the staff, management, um, so it's just a great experience, it's a great vibe, working with the staff, management, and it's the ambiance of the venue itself. we started, it wasn't that many day parties. Now it's like, I'd say more than five or six on Saturdays. On the day of a party, our first thing is to make sure our DJs is on time, make sure all our staff is on time, um, make sure the venue has the tables and everything set up correctly, make sure that our door staff is here and ready at four o'clock to, to start taking guests that come in for open bar. never get comfortable, you know what I mean? And we always strive to treat every party like it's our first party. Nate and AJ not only are great to work with, but they've proven themselves. For the last three, four years, there has not been a disappointing day. There just hasn't been. I mean, we've stood, stood on it since day one, and it's just been going higher and higher and higher every year. Nate and AJ are one of the best guys to work with personally, because they're humble, they work with a great team. We. And them, we, you know, the venue is already established. We have a pretty decent following. Teaming up with them, who are great to work with, very humble, makes it, you know, so much easier. And sky's the limit. Have a bottle of water, please. Joe's a, a real good guy. Um, he started out as a promoter, and he he worked his way into management. Um, so at the end of the day, um, he actually knows what it takes to be a promoter. So to really see how the party has evolved over the years. Um, I think he really respects that, as well as management and the staff here. Um, you know, n nothing was given, nor was the party just, you know, the first year was just the best party in the city, you know what I mean? It really took time, and I think when a person sees somebody working real hard, they really start to, um, you know, to, to really understand you, understand that your efforts and your time that you put into your event. Drop, drop.